In this video, we're going to look at question 12 of the free response portion of the Chapter 3 practice test. Now, question 12 says, drilling down beneath a lake in Alaska yields chemical evidence of past changes in climate. Biological silicone left by the skeletons of single-celled creatures called diatoms is a measure of the abundance of life in the lake. A rather complex variable based on the ratio of certain isotopes relative ocean water gives an indirect measure of moisture, most of snow. As you drill down, we look further into the past. Here's a scatter plot of data from 2,300 to 12,000 years ago. Okay, so um, I'm taking a look at this. It looks like the isotope is going to be our explanatory variable. The silicone it left behind is going to be our response variable on this. Looks about right. Um, identify the unusual point in the scatter plot. Explain what is unusual by this point. So I'm going to look visually at the graph. Um, looking at it for the most part, I mean, these points seem pretty good. They're around the line, not bad, not bad. I mean, if I were to pick an odd one from the rest, I mean, I'm going to pick this one. That looks like the unusual point in the scatter plot. Now, what's unusual about it is it's away from the pattern. I mean, what, what does that mean, though? You can't just say it's away from the pattern. Well, let's first identify the point. It's around negative 19.4. So let's state what the unusual point is. The unusual point in the scatter plot is the one near. an isotope value uh, looks like negative 19.4 and a silicone value of about maybe 345. So I identified the point. That's good. Now, why is this unusual? You can't just say it's away from the pattern. It's unusual because it has such a high silicone value for the given isotope value. It has such a high silicone value for the given isotope value. I mean, take a look at this. If I were to look at the residual for this line, it there's the residual. I mean, this line, the prediction is about, let's just say it's maybe it's about 160 is the prediction. And we are almost at 350. We're, I said about 345. That's a huge difference compared to all the other ones on it. It has an unusually large silicone value for the given iso value compared to all the others. I mean, even take a look at this one. We can go ahead and talk about the residual compared to the other residuals. But this statement has such a high silicone value. Look at right below, uh, to the left at negative 19.4. A negative residual, a negative residual, a negative residual, a negative residual, a negative residual. It is completely unusual compared to the rest of the data to the left of it. On it. So we can't just say, oh, it's far away from the least squares regression line. Well, what does it mean to be unusual? It means it has some characteristic that makes it stand out from the others. It has a high silicon value for the given isotope value. Uh, if that point were removed, Describe the effect on the correlation. Now remember, correlation is our R value. And in previous videos, I kind of just do this, you know, boom, here's zero, here's positive one, here's negative one. You know, this is describing R. The as you move away from zero to either positive one or negative one, it's going to strengthen. As we move away from one or away from negative one towards zero in both those cases it's going to weaken 
So describe the effect on this. Well, if I were to remove that point, what would happen to it? Well, the correlation describes the strength of the least squares regression line. And so if this point were to be removed, would that strengthen? Would this line be a better estimator? I mean, it would probably change. It's probably influential. On a little, and, or would it weaken it? Well, if I remove this point, that looks better. That line looks like a better estimator of everything on it. So is it going to strengthen? If the point were removed, the correlation would strengthen. This is because the point does not follow the linear pattern of the other points. Now, in part C, uh, sorry, part two of this, we are asked if the point was removed. So let's get rid of the word residual. Let's uh, come across all. If I were to remove that point, you know, what would happen to the slope? What would happen to the y-intercept? So we kind of talked about this on the multiple choice video, and I'll do the same thing here. Is we have to remember that this least squares regression line. It goes through, and I'm just going to pick a random point on this. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be a close estimator. Let's say it goes through right here, and let's say that's the point x bar, y bar. Um, at least squares regression line goes through the mean of the x variable and the y of the x variable, that coordinate. But so if I were to remove that point, what's going to happen? Well, right now, that point is pulling this line up. So if I were to cut that rope, and you got to think of it like a teeter-totter, what's going to happen? Well, if that line is pulling that up, it's going to cause the line to drop if I snap that. If I cut that rope, and it's pulling it tight, pulling it tight, it's going to cause the line to shift like that. It's going to go down because that point is what's tugging it up and I'm letting go. It's being removed completely and so the point goes down there. So in this case, what happens? Well, what happened to the slope? Well, the slope, it decreased. So the slope decreased for the least squares regression line when the point was removed. And what happened to our y-intercept? Well, it looks like the y-intercept increased for the least squares regression line when the point was removed. It's really important that you think of it like a teeter-totter, that you think of it like the point is has a rope that is attached to it. So if I go I'll use the green, do kind of the green, is right now, boom, it's attached to it. So what's going to happen if I were to cut that rope that's pulling that teeter-totter set up? And what's going to happen is it will snap down because there's nothing that's pulling it up anymore. For it. So always think about it that way. When any point is removed, maybe estimate where your x bar, y bar would be. Think about a rope because the left side, right side changes on it. But this is the answer to number 12 on the practice test.